Welcome to the Phone Suite Console Training Series. These videos are organized to allow you to view the entire series in five short lessons, or to jump to or view only the sections you need to to begin using the console. This is Lesson 5, Advanced Guest Settings and Functions. Other lessons are getting to know your Phone Suite Console, basic call handling, basic guest settings and functions, and advanced call handling. In this video, we will be looking at advanced guest settings and functions. These features are used in special cases to perform special operations that are not generally required in day-to-day -day operations. A13, set room status. Room status codes can be used by the PMS to know if a room is fit to be rented to a new guest. These codes can be set using the phone in the room or by the console itself. To set a new room code, press A13 and then enter the extension of the room to be changed. Next, enter the two digit room status code then press enter to confirm the change. When a room status code is entered from a guest room by a member of the housekeeping staff dialing two star plus a single digit code, only the second digit of the two digit code displayed by A13 is changed. A14, clear all room status. To clear all room status codes and reset them to 00, press A14. The system will ask you to confirm this operation. Pressing 3 will clear all room status codes, and pressing D will exit without making changes. A18, check call duration. To view the duration of the current call made or received by a guest, press A18 and enter the guest extension. The display will then show how long the current call has been active. The display will also show the first four digits of the phone number dialed. A19, display wake up alarms. This feature allows a console user to view and clear alarms generated by missed wake up calls, so long as it was enabled by the phone suite technician during installation. To use this feature, press A19 and the display will show the extension number that has missed a wake up call, if one exists. Pressing the C key will clear the alarm, pressing A will show the next record, and pressing D will exit the feature. A20, individual wake up report. If a guest has questions or concerns about their wake up call, or a lack thereof, a wake up call report can be printed. To access this feature, press A20 and then enter the guest's extension number. A wake up call report will then print showing what wake up calls were set, if any, and the result of the call. For a full description of the report and report codes, please consult the console user's manual. A21, System Wake Up Report. If a system-wide wake-up call report is needed, enter A21 into the console. The display will ask you to confirm the request by pressing Enter, or the D key to cancel. This report is similar to the individual report described previously, but will display information for every guest room. A23, Active Stations. To view a list of all active extensions, press A23 and confirm by pressing the Enter button or the D button to cancel. The printed report will show all active extensions and a code of N indicating normal operations, or P which indicates that there might be a problem with the line. If any problems are reported, contact your local phone suite technician for assistance. A24 Main Software Version to view the current software version installed in your phone suite system, enter A24. Display will show the current software version and the number of times the system has been reset. A25, request PMS database dump. This feature is used in the rare case that the phone suite system has been powered off for an extended period of time. In this case, it is possible that the PMS system and phone suite's data is out of sync. This situation can be resolved by entering the command A25. Phone suite will immediately sync data and no further user input is required. A25 should be used only under the direction of your phone suite installer. A26 Outbound Call Count The Phone Suite 64 will allow the console to display a simple count of an extension's outbound calls lasting more than 30 seconds. To use this feature, enter A26 and enter the guest extension number. The display will then show how many outbound calls have been made from that extension. Press D to exit the feature, or C to clear the call count. A27, Outbound and Inbound Call Count. This feature is very similar to the one just described. However, it will display a count of not only the inbound calls taken by the extension, but outbound calls answered by that extension as well. 
Simply press A27 from the console and enter the guest extension. What will then display is a total of the guest's inbound and outbound calls lasting more than 30 seconds. Again, this feature is only available in the Phone Suite 64. A30 Forward Extensions Calls This feature is designed to allow a non-guest phone to have their calls forwarded to another extension. Forwarding can be set to forward if the line is not answered or any time a caller dials that extension. Forwarding can also be chained so that a call will ring several extensions one at a time until it is answered or until it is sent back to the original dialed extension's voicemail box. To enable this feature, enter A30. Enter the extension number where forwarding needs to be set up and then the extension number of where the forwarded call should go. Lastly, press either 1 to forward all calls or 2 to only forward calls when the extension is busy or does not answer. If the extension you wish to forward does not support this feature, the display will read Illegal Action. A35 System Voice Messages A Phone Suite 112e system, when equipped with the voicemail option, will allow recording of custom voicemail messages that can be delivered to guests upon check in or whenever the hotel staff desires. These messages can be used to alert guests to special events or with checkout instructions the night before a guest is scheduled to leave. To use this feature, press A35. The system will then ask you which recording you would like to change. One is a special message that will be automatically delivered to each guest upon check-in. Two and three are messages used for manual delivery, and four is a custom wake-up greeting. After selecting which voicemail to edit, the system will then ask you what you would like to do. Press one to review the recording, two to erase the message, or three to clone the message to an extension's voicemail box. Pressing 1 will play the message currently in the system, or allow you to record a new one. When recording a new message, speak into the handset and then press enter to save the message. It will then automatically play back so that you can review it. If you are satisfied with the recording, press 1 to save, or press 2 to re-record the message. To erase the current message, press 2 from the voicemail options screen. The system will confirm the message has been deleted and return to an idle state. To clone a message, press 3 from the voicemail options screen and the system will ask you for the extension number to clone the voicemail to. Enter the extension number and press enter. The message will immediately be sent to the extension and will cause the voicemail waiting light on the phone to light. When recording a customer wake up message, the system will prompt you for an extension to clone the message to. But this step is not necessary and the feature can be exited after the custom wake up call has been recorded. A39 License days remaining. If you'd like to see the days remaining on your current phone suite license, enter the command A39. The screen will then display either PBX currently fully licensed, meaning that no license renewal is required, or the display will show the days remaining in the current phone suite license. If 000 is displayed, then the current license is expired.